guys so much. Oh, thank you. Yes, we're all so happy in Seattle because it has been such a big week here with lots of things happening in the news. The Final Four is underway, which is really exciting. Yeah, a lot of Final Four. A lot of Final Four fans here. Governor Lowry made his apologies this week, which was very exciting. Uh, oh, yeah. And uh, Microsoft Bob went on sale, which is really exciting. But right now, we want to focus on one very, very special story. A story about a drywaller from Kent. We all know about... I think you know who I'm talking about. The man now known as the Ex-Lax Bandit. We know about this... Familiar with this guy? Apparently this guy, this Kent drywaller was, he was constipated and he bought some X-Lax to do what X-Lax does, only this X-Lax didn't. So, as we now know, the guy, he wrote to X-Lax people demanding his $1.99 back and several days later, this drywaller, who I have to imagine by this time is not feeling real good, he, he gets... He gets a check from X-Lax, as it said on the front page of both papers uh, this week. Only, the check isn't for $1.99, it's for $98,002, which... Woo! Right. Yeah, it's like, a, it's like a big lotto to the people here. It's like a big lotto, which just happens to be the guy's zip code, 98002. And basically everyone in the city did the same thing that I did. If I had sent that, I would have made $108 more. There's like their zip code. Everyone's comparing their zip Anyway, anyway. To make a long story. If he'd lived in New York, he would have got 10 grand. That's the, the great thing about in the Northwest. Our zip codes are high. So when XLAC sends the refunds, we get 100 grand here almost, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Around Chicago, 60609 Spiegel Catalog. They're getting six. Uh, anyway, anyway. To make a long story short, uh, the guy cashes the check and he disappears. He just vanishes with the money. So <laughs> now we've got a very rich, very constipated drywaller <laughs> from Kent running around with $98,000 of Xlax money. And I'm thinking that this guy shouldn't be that hard to catch because, you know, first of all, you have to ask yourself, how fast can a seriously constipated guy, you know, how fast is he going to run? And second, you have to remember, you can take the man out of Kent, but you can't take Kent out of the man even... He's got $98,000, doesn't it? With this in mind, there are several things the police should watch out for. For example, a guy wearing a mink-lined Peterbilt cap would be... <laughs> Anybody overheard in a restaurant ordering caviar and a Schmidt? Uh, <laughs> or anyone driving a Mercedes 300 SEL with a gun rack and those mud flaps with the naked girls on them? You know, that's a dead giveaway right there. Plus the fact that by now this guy is very, very constipated. In fact, he's leaving a pretty obvious trail as he makes his way across the country. You can see some of the evidence on this map, some of the reports coming in. You see here in Spokane, there are uh, reports of a man buying $27,000 worth of stewed prunes. That happened in uh, <laughs> down here. Sun Valley, Idaho, uh, a week later, a little later, an expensive Sun Valley resor resort received a 50-pound Federal Express shipment of Mexican tap water, which is suspicious. <laughs> Up here. In, in Bozeman, Montana, a new Lexus has, was seen parked at a rest stop for three days. And witnesses who saw the driver emerge say he looked really frustrated and angry. <laughs> and finally, right down here, a, a 7-Eleven clerk in Rapid City, South Dakota, reported a desperate-looking man buying out the entire stock of Haley's M.O. So it's obviously, if that weren't all, police have a pretty good artist's rendering of the X-Lax Bandit. I think we have that. That's the guy. Yeah. <laughs> That is the guy, so, yeah, it's just, the, the, it, it, the story has everything. He's a drywaller from Kent who got a hundred grand from x -Lax. You can't write premises, but I mean, it's just, <laughs> fell from heaven there. I'm guessing that he would have skipped town even if he'd got the dollar ninety-nine back, so I don't know, but, <laughs> but he got ninety-eight. So he's out there somewhere, and uh, they're chasing him, and we'll keep you updated. So anyway, anyway, that's what Seattle's been talking about this week. That, of course, and Martin Landau's unfortunate speech at the Oscars. But there is another big awards show coming up, and I believe we have a preview here. Take a look.